All right, so this is a part two of listen to your ancestors and spirit guides because I felt like I needed to clarify this because I brought up the church and their the church and their um, role in the oppression of people of color. So I also wanted to clarify something to you guys. If you are of Caucasian descent, I want you to realize something. It was not just people of color that were oppressed and, and, and hurt and persecuted by the church. If you do some research and you read the history, the first people that were persecuted and enslaved and murdered were spiritual Europeans, okay, were indigenous European people, like the Sami tribes, the, the Sami tribe, the Nordic tribes, the um, Celtic, the Druids, okay, so these people that worshipped the earth, that were pagans, they were the first ones that were killed and persecuted before even people of color were by the church and by the catholic church okay so i want you to do some the video i made before this the first part this is not an anti-white person anti-caucasian video that video is about being being loyal to your ancestors and stop believing the shit that the catholic church and the church and these bible thumpers are saying because they destroyed the they destroyed a lot of the they destroyed a lot of the people that were spiritual and that were magical people that existed for thousands of years before, okay? Before the, um, before they, they targeted people of color, okay? Because they had to, they had to do it in their place. They had to do it in their continent first and then spread it to Africa because that was what they did. Okay, so if you are of white descent, understand that you are not white. White is a color. Okay, get a DNA test and find out what tribes, what nations, what indigenous nations of Europe you came from, you descended from. Reconnect with those ancestors. Like my spirit guides helped my wife reconnect with her Nordic ancestors, her Nordic spirit guides. Her Nordic gods, okay? So you need to understand, like, if you're white, white is not an ethnicity. White is a color. White is a color. This black and white thing is another thing that the church created to create the vision between us and to try to make it sound like, oh, if you're white, you're good. And if you're black, you're bad, okay? So realize that. If you are of white descent, if you are a white person or a Caucasian person, you're not white, okay? That is a creation of these demons that were in the Catholic Church and in these governments that wanted to divide us as people, that wanted to justify the enslavement of different people based on their ethnicities, okay? So if you are of Caucasian descent, if you are white, realize you're not white, you may have ancient ancestors that worked with Celtic gods, that worked with Roman gods, that worked with Greek gods, that worked with um, uh, Nordic gods, that worked with the Sami gods, that there are so much, so many beings. The Slavic gods, there are so many, so many ancestors. Okay, there are so many ancestors that you could be working with that had nothing to do with slavery. That had nothing to do with oppressing people of color. That were persecuted and oppressed themselves. A lot of us who have Spaniard blood from the, in the Caribbean, we have Celtic ancestors as well. That we're not to blame for what their children ended up doing, for what their, their descendants ended up doing. These things happen in cycles. You have to understand, these things happen in cycles. So a lot of people, too, disregard their Spaniard, their, their Celtic ancestors, especially if you have, if, you know, if you become, if you became mixed with, with white 
during slavery times. A lot of people of color will disregard their white ancestors. They will disregard their, their, the white gods that are with them, right? Which were the pre-slavery gods. Like they were not even involved in slavery. Okay? There were tribes, indigenous tribes, in indigenous nations in Europe that were destroyed by the Catholic and Christian church way before the African and the, and the Caribbean people were destroyed or they tried to destroy us. So understand that you too can honor your ancestors. You too can reconnect with your ancestors. My page, my page is not and will never be a black versus white page. My page is about, is about everybody healing and finding their true spirituality, finding their true practice, finding their true beings that walk with them. That is the reason why when I do Who Walks With Me readings, even if you don't have um, mysteries, if you don't have Loa, sometimes no, um, Nordic beings step up for people. Sometimes gods from like Rome step up for people. Sometimes gods from like Greece step up for people. Sometimes gods from Egypt step up for people. And I'm never gonna tell you, you shouldn't honor these gods. These gods walk with you because they are part of you. They're part of your ancestors. They're part of your blood. They're part of your, of the ancestry, of, of the faith of your ancestors. Okay, so just because you're white doesn't mean that you can't reconnect with your ancestors. Not all your ancestors are evil. Not all your ancestors were connected to enslaving people of color. There were ancestors before that that were persecuted and killed because they believed in spirituality. They believed in, in, in multiple gods because they believed in witchcraft. Okay, so you need to understand that. Find out who you really are. Find out where you're not just white. Find out where you where you have DNA from, and then find out what 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 original tribes were there, right? Like the Celts, the um, the Nordic people, the Greeks, the the Roman gods. Okay, the 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 all of those things they existed before the Catholic and the Christian Church came in and tried to take over everything. That's what I need you to understand. That it wasn't just done to us. It was done to you too. It was done to you way before it was done to us. It was done to you before it was even done to us. To force your ancestors to go along with the horrific shit that the Catholic and Christian church wanted to do to people of color. So do your research. Find out who you really are. You're not just white. You're not just Caucasian. There are good ancestors. There are good gods out there. I can say that because I've experienced it. Like Sam's got, Sam, Sam has guides like Odin and Freya and um, all these gods that are looking out for her that are, that are really great beings. Reconnect with your ancestry. Okay? There were ancestors pre-Christianity that were good people, that were minding their own business, trying to do the best they could for their, for their life. And then the Christian and Catholic church came in and demonized them and killed them for not wanting to give up their nature worship or not wanting to give up their gods. Okay, that's what I need you to understand. That's the history I need you to remember. So that we can come together in this age of Aquarius and realize that we are not supposed to be fighting against each other. We're supposed to unite against these fucking demons. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to unite against these demons that call themselves chosen by God. Because that's what they, they, they persecute us. And I think it's really ironic that they're destroying each other. <clears throat> These monotheistic religions have, for the last 2,000 years, 
placed a spell on people and have justified because they are egotistical and they think that they are the only ones that have the right or they think they are the chosen people of God. And that is not true. God has thousands of faces. Thousands of them. Find out your ancestry. Find out your ancestry if you are of white descent. And find out what ancestry you actually have. And then find out what tribes and, and what nation, you, you know, what pagan tribes you actually come from. And reclaim your power. Just as I'm promoting people of color to reconnect with their African power. To reconnect with their indigenous powers. Because they were stripped from us by the monotheistic religions they they feel entitled and they feel they feel entitled and they feel egotistically claiming god as if god only belongs to them that's what i need you to understand and that's the what they used to destroy and separate us First, they started with the Nordic people and the Celtic people and the Druids and the Sami people. These people that were that worshipped nature, <clears throat> that had multiple gods, that were polytheistic. Then they tried to do it in India because India is also polytheistic. Well, India has multiple gods or devas. I, I'm not an expert in Hinduism. But they tried to do it, the Catholic and Christian church tried to do it. They didn't try, they did it to everybody. They did it to everybody and then they, they forced white people to be stripped of their, of their true identity. And then they hypnotized them, they put a spell on them every single Sunday to justify the killing and enslaving of people of color and stripping of the people of color's language, belief system, and true ancestral roots. That's what I need you to realize. That is the real history. And they did all this to turn us against each other so that they could grow in power in land so that they could steal. Everybody else's power for themselves. Because they are the real demons. They are the real demons. <clears throat> so. Go find out. Who you really are. And start working with your real ancestors. I'm not telling you you have to give up Joshua. If you want to work with Joshua, keep working with Joshua. I'm not saying that. But stop believing what, this, what the Christian church tells you. Stop believing what the Bible tells you. Because the Bible is a plagiarized version of Nordic mythology. It is a plagiarized version of Nordic Egyptian mythology. You don't believe me? Look it up. This is the reason why they don't want you to read any other history. They don't want you to read any other book besides the Bible. Because if you read any other book besides the Bible, you will start to connect the dots and realize. Okay? You will start to realize that these holy books are bullshit. That is plagiarized from polytheistic religions. And then they... Erase every other God and only keep the main God as the only God. Read. Research. It is the age of Aquarius. That is the reason why, and I hate to say this because I never condemn the killing of innocent people, but that is the reason why they are killing each other right now. That is the reason why. Because karma is real and it does come for you. And it comes for your children if you don't pay it. That is the truth. I don't make up the rules. That's just what happens.
and they made the first sin knowledge so that you would never seek knowledge so that you would never be awakened to the truth the sins of the parents befall the children if the children do nothing to rectify so that you a lot of you ask me how can i break generational curses that is how you can break generational curses that is why they hate questions because the all of their their religions are lies they're lies telling somebody that because they're homophobic god isn't going to love them that's bullshit but yet allowing pedophilia to happen oh, i'm sorry Homoso homophobic, I'm sorry. What I meant to say, telling somebody that being homosexual is wrong, being homophobic is wrong, being homosexual is wrong is demonic. Telling someone that someone that God isn't going to love you because you're, you're gay or because you're trans. God made you. So if God wasn't going to, why would God make you the way you are? That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. If God made you purple, it's because God wanted you to be purple. Okay? You know what God doesn't want? Grown men molesting and raping children. That's what God doesn't want. But yet, that they, stand, that they don't stand up against. That they don't bring to the light. That they cover up. And then demonize herbs when God created herbs. God created plants. For example, that letter that I posted this morning from the, um, for the Congo, uh, in, the letter from 1883, one of the things that it says from the king of Belgium was, that was Christianized at the time, teach them, teach them religion, but do not teach them critical Teach them religion, but do not, do not teach them critical thinking. They don't want you to have critical thinking. Because if you had critical thinking, you would not fall for their lies. Exactly. Demons calling nature demonic. Come on. <clears throat> oh, but Jesus, according to them, it's okay that Jesus walked on water and used oils to heal people and used prayer to heal people and used e energy to heal people everything is okay for them but not for you that is called narcissism look it up that is called narcissism turning water into wine that's magic that's that's alchemy Yet Joshua meditated. Joshua went and spoke to God himself, not in the church, in a garden. So if you read the story of Joshua, Joshua did not go to a church to pray to God. Joshua, on his last day before his supposed crucifixion, went where? Not to church to kneel before God. He went to the garden to kneel before God and talk to God himself. That which is of God will not be divisive, will not be oppressive, will not be hateful of other people, and will protect the innocent. That which of God does not betray, that which of God does not commit hatred against others anyone who ever tells you that god wants you to hate someone else has a demonic possession and a lot of them have a demonic hypnosis upon them
And I am risking my life to awaken you to this today. I am risking my life for that. Because I don't know how they would react to me saying this. So I am telling you this, not because I want to control you, not because I want you to worship my gods or whatever. No, because I want you to find out the truth. I want you to find God for yourself in your heart. Whatever face that God has, I don't care. As long as it's not hurting other people, if you want your God to be a tree, we have a tree God in my, in my spiritual practice. Let your God be a tree. I don't care. As long as you are not hurting anybody or, or trying to tell anybody else how to find their God. That's what I care about. That's what God really cares about. And you know how I know that? Because I know that I am a child of God. I know that I have light in my heart. I know that I have love in my heart. And I will never agree with the hatred that monotheistic religion spread against other people that don't believe what they believe because they are narcissistic, manipulative, energy, vampiric demons. And if that religion resonates with that, with someone, it's because that person also has narcissistic tendencies. There is one creator, and that creator created everything. That includes other gods as well. Because a lot of polytheistic religions, if you research polytheistic religions, meaning religions that have more than one god, you will see that even the gods have a god that they answer to. For example, the Egyptian Nether, which is the Egyptian god pantheon, they answer to Ra, the sun god. And then Ra answers to the goddess of the sky, the supreme being. If you research Allah's, the Sumerian, they have a supreme god that has other gods underneath. Even the Jewish religion originally had more than one god and they erased that to try to turn it into a monotheistic religion. If you look up Hinduism, they have a supreme being on top of all the other gods that they have. If you research Nordic mythology, they have a supreme god that rules the other gods underneath them. If you look up Voodoo, they have a supreme, we have a supreme god that rules all of the other Loa, which are like, which are like gods underneath the supreme god if you look up the orishas the orishas have a supreme god that rules over them and they also were given god powers by that supreme god so please come on come on stop letting them call us stupid to our face stop swallowing the stupidity Please, I know you guys are smarter than that. I know a lot of, I know all of you are smarter than that. Break out of the hypnosis. Break out of that hypnosis. Break out of that hypnosis and see the truth for your highest good. So, like I said, this is part two of if, of the listen to your ancestors and spirit guide video. Because that first video, the first video was not an anti-white video. That first video was a video reminding you that people of color are true gods, are the Loa and the Orisha and the African and the indigenous gods. And that is our true spirituality. And that is where our ancestors came from. And that is what we should be honoring. Not a religion that killed our ancestors, tortured and justified the theft and sale of our ancestors like cattle. And then I am reminding you in this video that if you are of Caucasian descent, 
that you have ancestors that were also persecuted by that same church way before slavery happened. Look it up and reclaim your power. Many blessings.